This video is part of my Sims 2 Ultimate Visual and Gameplay Guide. I will have a link to the full video down below, but per my subscriber's request, I'm also uploading the video in part, so make sure you check out the playlist. Don't forget to back up your game first before attempting anything in this video. And remember, not everything you see is achievable because of different screen dimensions, editing, rendering, and pe and a visually nice hood, make sure you spend some time on this. Lighting plays a big part in transforming your world. Let me show you how to install this. Starting on this website, of course, I'll be linking all websites down in the description box down below. I want to note that I cannot show you the difference in my game because I have already replaced all my lighting. So I don't actually own the original files. I have replaced them, so there's no way for me to, you know, reverse that process. I would have to reinstall the game and I really do not feel like doing that. So instead, I'm going to click on these pictures and show you the difference that the lighting makes and you can compare it to your game. So you want to make sure you read through the installation instructions, but I am going to show you how to install this, so just follow along with me. And if you're wondering how to download this, you click on this link. Now first, you want to make sure you know what your version is, okay? So if you have the Ultimate Collection, this is what you want to click on. You press this, if you have Deluxe, if you have Double Deluxe, if it's not through origin, make sure you read this text. Also, make sure that you know what version of what kind of game you have, so you use the right folder. This one is universal. This one, we're gonna plop down into our downloads folder. Now, what you want to do is click on these. So let me just click on one, because I already installed it anyway. You want to go ahead and basically copy all of these okay they are going to replace some existing files so you want to make sure that you back up your lighting or at least your folders before you do this process because if you don't you are going to lose your original files and we don't really want that copy the folders to the right place and it is always your installation folder it's not the folder in which you keep your download when you go into ts data res and lights, this is where you will find the files. Now, you could go into your zip file and put down the files individually. Like, for example, you can go all the way deep into those folders and just extract the lighting mods, like those three things, and then put that down into here. If you want to do it quicker, you can just do the whole folder and just plop them into your installation folder that is what's probably recommended but if you want to be you know extra and you only want to add the files you do want to go into ts data rest lights and put these things down because these are the important files so these are the ones that are going to make the difference like i said i can't really show you the difference in my game but it's pretty consistent with this i absolutely love it and i feel like you should get it now the big 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 one custom content whether you go for Maxis Match or Alpha CC, there is so much you will never have the exact same game as someone else. No, really. You know how hard that would be? There are millions of different combinations. Though, if you download everything I have in my game through my blog, I guess you and I have about 50% of the same custom content already. How cool is that? Alpha CC is everything that looks like it comes from another game. Maxis match basically means matching to the game itself. Sliders, my favorite. Sliders for both Body Shop and Cast will help you transform your sims beyond. Let me show you some of the sliders that are already in the game. Now let's see the sliders available through mod. If you have a wider screen than back what was available in 2007, you might want to change your columns. Big gameplay changing mods and more. I'm going to explain to you what they do and how to install them. These are just mods I recommend, but since there are so many, it would take me absolutely ages to get through them all. So bear with me while I'm trying to win some time. Unlocked interactions are interactions that usually are not available for every sim, but with this mod, you can do these all the time. So you can, for example, have a sponge bath, look out the window, eat trash, etc. And these are going 
going to go in your downloads folder. This mod improves the speech bubbles, the headlines above your sims, and they give it a nicer texture or it replaces the texture. Whether it's nice or not, you decide so, but you want to put these in your downloads. Parma Rent Control is something that you can install and when you go into your game, you put this on the wall and you're able to either reduce or increase the rent for your apartments or even just your houses. This is Chris Hatch Plan a Baby Outfit mod. Now this mod is for your baby. So normally you can't really change anything about them, but what you can do is you can change their clothing. So with this mod, you basically install something that looks like a bear. And when you click on the bear, you can then change your Sims clothing. You have to install some extra baby clothes, but with this mod, you can, you know, you can change your baby's outfit, which I think is just really cute. And I definitely think you should you should get it. I think I'm gonna stop saying put this in your downloads folder because everything I'm showing you is probably gonna go in your downloads folder. Transfer lots to all basically allows your sims to pass along lot to another sim. With this mod you can rotate your garage doors and you also have rotatable driveways. This mod allows you to throw a party at any time on any lot. If you want to make different paintings with different shaped canvases, this mod is for you. If you download this mod, everyone that goes to school will be always wearing uniforms, no matter if they go to community school or private school. This mod, you can have a larger household. Be aware for me in the past having a lot of sims, it does make it a lot easier for the family to get corrupt. But I'm still going to recommend it because it is a wonderful mod, especially if you do a 100 baby challenge. If you don't have the sim blender with this mod, your sims can also get plastic surgery using this device. This mod is super handy. You can watch TV from all chairs. If the game is too easy for you, you can also download some custom builds. I am highly recommending you to get this supercomputer because you can do so many things with it, including banking, uh, starting a business. Honestly, you can do so many things. I'm honestly forgetting half of it, but like you can go to the store from that computer. Like honestly, there is so much you can do with it. And I highly, 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 highly recommend this. Definitely do get it. You can woohoo with any sim and basically just assign a baby daddy to the child. If teenagers grow up, they usually lose their romantic interest, but with this mod, they keep their interest and they'll stay in love. With this mod, you can have college interactions on any type of lot outside university. With this mod, the outdoor lights will stay on until 7 a.m. instead of 2 a.m. This mod improves the family tree. With this mod, you now get a new memory and it's called the Met New Great Grandchild, which I just think is so sweet. You can now choose a last name for your Sims when they get married. You can now also adopt teens and it also allows you to choose your gender. Now you can select a cemetery after your Sims have died. If you want some new turn-ons, here are some for you. I use this mod quite a lot. It's the child support. So if your sim has a child with somebody that's not in their household, they're going to be paying you child support regularly. Isn't that nice? <laughs> you now do not have a relationship with your baby when they're born. I mean, you can set it to however you like, but for the most part, if you don't want to have a relationship, you don't get one. You can now be mean at all times, which I just love. Brighter roofs because why are they so dark? You can now shift ceiling decoration. Accurate neighborhood terrain lighting. Definitely give this a, a good read, but it basically just adds a little bit more of, you know, dimension to your game. Not gonna lie, these are all from my own mod collection, but I would definitely recommend them because I have them all and I feel like they're definitely <laughs> worth getting. There's like so many mods and I could spend hours telling you guys about this mod and that mod, but I think you guys just need to go on the internet, Google mods, and just go on, go out there, see what's out there and fill up your downloads folder by yourself. You really don't need me. You, re you really don't. Now for some mods that are not on my website. Towny budget mod. Basically, when your sim has a store or a business and a townie wants to buy something, if the townie doesn't have much money, your sim will try to offer a product and the sim in question, the townie will refuse because they cannot afford such a luxury item. I think this just adds so much realism to having a business. Watering um, inaccessible flowers fix. So this speaks for itself. Now you can water 
those plants. Yes, you can also trim inaccessible bushes. I guess it is a less harsh way of breaking up. You definitely want to go ahead and read this. I don't have the time to, you know, go through it all, but there's also a adults go steady mod on the same page. So if you guys want to go get that, I recommend that as well. If you do not like a long pregnancy, you can always get a shorter pregnancy mod. Auto save game is perfect for those who forget to save the game. It just automatically remembers you to save. Smart beds is a mod in which your sims will identify where they sleep and they will make sure to always sleep in that bed. So if your sim has ownership of one bed and you buy a new bed, you first gotta unclaim that first bed to then claim the new bed. Gunman's camera mod. Now this one, I am going to explain to you how to install, but basically this allows you to have a wider range of cameras, really increases the range of camera movement. Okay, let me show you guys how to install this. First, you wanna go ahead and download the version that speaks to you the most. So definitely make sure to read all of this to find out which one is the one for you. Then all you have to do is go to your documents, EA games, the Sims 2 cameras and plop all of these in there. And then it's going to ask you to overwrite. And that's all you do to make it work. Oh, and if you don't like it, there is a Maxis camera backup. So they got your back. If you do not like the red pause frame, you can also get a mod for that. And if you don't like the green bottles, you can also get a white one. And lastly, <laughs> a white screen camera fix. So this basically allows you to see more of your sim during cast. Oh, and if you want to hide the objects in cast, you can also get a mod for that. Big gameplay changing mods and more. Now this part of the video will be a bit about my own personal playing style, as well as some common ways to play the game to improve or enhance your gameplay. I personally play the Sims 2 rotation in random orders. See, I don't actually play the game that much because I'm doing Let's Plays on YouTube and I always make the game corrupt when I do. It might not be the best advertisement for the channel, but hey, I'm on it. Anyway, this is what I would do. Put all the seasons to one season. So let's say summer. We all start out in summer, which means every household. You can make lists, write down things, keep tabs on everyone and play methodically. But I do not like that. I like organization in my life, but not in a game that's just supposed to be relaxing. So I just do whatever feels right. Since we start out in summer, everyone in my hood will be wearing summer outfits the second I get into the game and I play with them. So by the time I've done a full rotation of everyone, the whole hood is in shorts or tank tops. That already makes the world more believable. Sims 2's storytelling mod is a mod that makes the game run pretty similar to The Sims 3. Basically, it allows your Sims to do things when you're not playing with them. So remember how in The Sims 4, Sims 3, well, your Sims can get married, they have children, and you're not playing with that household? Well, it works exactly the same. I don't use it, but if you are into that kind of thing, definitely check it out. 